Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the 56th installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. 56 episodes deep. Man, time flies when you wish you were dead, or something like that. Speaking of what I eat, uh, nobody clicked on my carnivore video from yesterday. Was it because it had a pig's head on the thumbnail? Did that gross you out? In case you mistakenly did not watch yesterday's video, here's a link. What sort of diabetes will we get today? Type 1, type 2, stick around to find out. Before we proceed, please click like and subscribe so that I may apply comb to mustache. What I ate on my first day in Disneyland. So okay, so this is her first day. We covered her second day the other day. We started off very strong with my favorite thing that I ate at the park. It was this raspberry rose macaron. That's a macaron. Just like I was talking about before, how people are always mixing up macarons and macaroons. We're already starting with that and it was so good best one i've ever had we also had this macaron that was shaped like the matterhorn and it was okay now you're calling this a macaron but this one's a macaroon we also had this macaron that was shaped like the matterhorn and okay you called the first thing a macaroon and now you're calling this a macaron you got them exactly wrong the first one was a macaron and this is a macaroon you don't often see people eat macarons and macaroons in one sitting, so you would expect them to get it right. You have access to both of these things at the same time, and you got it exactly wrong. It was very tasty. We also got this iced tea that had like a whipped foam on it. It was so good. Oh. Whipped tea? Oh my goodness, what the heck? Okay, so next up we had to try the blue melt. Okay, it's very bizarre the way that she holds her food when she shows it on camera. She always goes like this. I don't know why. I don't know what we're doing. Okay, so next up we had to try the blue milk, which is like a fruit smoothie. What? What is that? Blue milk? That sounds similar to the gray stuff. I don't like these products that are just named after colors. I don't like the sound of blue milk. Has it been sitting out in the sun for a couple days? Which is like a fruit smoothie. It tasted very tropical. Tropical milk. Okay. Oh my god. It's so good. We does that even mean anything at this point? <laughs> when somebody says that everything is the best thing ever, does it even mean anything? I also got this pastry from the blue milk stand that was kind of like if a contra was made out of croissant. Next up was Dole Whip, which is an absolute... So this is just another day of just nothing but sweet treats. Okay, so this Dole Whip is some sort of soft serve ice cream or frozen yogurt. Classic, and I liked it a lot. We also got this like curry vegetable bao. You got a curry vegetable bao. Dude, this is a crazy day of eating. Although people say when you're at Disneyland, this is just how you eat. So I don't know. I guess it's just a Disney thing. I don't know. It'd be funny if she wasn't even at Disneyland or she fabricated this whole Disneyland story just so she could eat like this. Even going so far as to recreate those dishes at home. You would really be a sicko if that was the case. This is all just a soundstage in her basement. <laughs> and then I ate this, and then I ate that, and then I ate this, and then like part of the set starts to fall down. You're like, hey, wait a minute. Did you hire your cousin to wear a Mickey Mouse outfit just so you could engorge yourself? Oh my God. You have a personal chef back there recreating all the Disneyland dishes? Oh my God, you have a problem. At that point, you couldn't even like be mad. You would just be like, oh wow. That required a lot of effort. I don't want to get on your bad side. All right, so next up were these Mickey beignets. I don't know what a beignet is. Um, I feel very unsophisticated saying that. And I love a good beignet. You know, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I thought that they were really tasty. Okay. From the same place, we also got this vegetarian gumbo. The fat acceptance movement seems to have a lot of vegans and vegetarians in it. Connect the dots. I'm not saying all of them, but connect the dots. Which was served in a sourdough bread bowl. Anytime I see the word bread bowl, I always think of the pasta bread bowl and Jim Gaffigan. 
If you're into food-based humor, Jim Gaffigan is pretty funny. <laughs> and it was good. All right, and that's the end of that one. I don't care if I'm at Disneyland or wherever, dude. I am not eating like that. Maybe a couple of sweet things, but nothing like that. That's completely insane. Hey, guys, we're at Disney. <laughs> Screw my whole entire life, dude. Yes. Everything that I've worked for up until this moment, to hell with it. That guy's wearing a Mickey Mouse costume. I think I just saw a goofy dude. F*** my hopes and dreams. Right? Oh, there's somebody in a princess outfit. Screw all my ambitions. Couple of sweet things, sure, dude, but, um... A whole day of nothing but? I don't even want to do that. That seems like it would make you feel like garbage. Let's take a look at this and add it up. Alright, so you started the day off with a macaron, which you called a macaroon. And then you had a macaroon, which you called a macaron. Um, you had a 50-50 chance of getting it right, and you did not. Which is fine, but I've had this debate with people many times. Do not come at me with the macaron macaroon debate, dude. We will be here all day. And then you had some iced tea with foam on it. Um, that was weird. They told you that it was supposed to have the foam on there. They're like, yeah, no, that's not some leftover food that one of the other patrons left behind and we just didn't clean it out properly. That's uh, foam that's supposed to be on top of that iced tea. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this this is a brand new iced tea. Yeah, um, that's not a bunch of filth and grime floating on top. That's uh, foam. Yeah, sure. Here. There you go. Let me let me see if you'll drink that. Go ahead and drink that, please. I'm just going to I'm just watching you drink that I, for no reason in particular. Go ahead and have a sip. Hmm. What, what do you mean, why am I looking at you all weird? I'm not looking at you any kind of way. I'm just seeing if you're going to drink that drink that I gave to you that's totally normal. That's how we do it around here. Just have have some of the drink, dude. Why are you being weird? It's not weird. You're, you're making it weird, dude. What? All right, and then you had some blue milk. Once again, they told you this was normal, but I have a feeling that they this is some milk that they left out in the sun a little too long. They're only supposed to leave it out in the sun for a couple hours. They left it out for like three instead. No, I'm just kidding. I'm guessing that that just had like pounds of sugar in it. It was just like 90% sugar, 9% milk, and 1% blue dye. Why are there so many items at Disney that are just named after colors? The blue milk, the gray stuff. I don't like that. Can you give me like a flavor like that, it, that it's supposed to taste like? Is it supposed to taste like blue? It's supposed to taste like gray? I don't know what that means. Then after that, for dessert, you had a pastry. I guess it was a dessert. I don't know. Breakfast dessert, you know? And then for the dessert of your pastry, you had some soft serve frozen yogurt, which was good. That's a little sweet. And then later on, you had some curry vegetable bao, which was like the first thing that you had that resembled some kind of food that wasn't just like sweet treats. Although I wouldn't really, wouldn't really call that food. After that, you had a beignet, which I don't know what that is, but it looked like some sort of sweet treat. Beignets are a French donut that is made up with yeast, sweetened dough, squares cut, and then fried. Then you had some gumbo in a bread bowl. Okay, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a 1 out of 10. Way too many sweets in that. Anything that you ate that was actually real was deleted by all those sweets. I'm not going to say that eating one croissant will take 20 years off your life, but I'm not going to not say that either. <laughs> Clearly I'm joking. Next, what I eat in a day as a fat person who eats whatever I want. You rebel. Look at you. They didn't want you to eat whatever you wanted, but you didn't listen. You play by your own rules. Maverick. See that look on her face? That's the, you're not going to tell me what to do, society. Look. What I eat in a day is a fat person who eats whatever I want. Oh, and then you're going to laugh about it. <clears throat> oh. oh, Punchy's not there. <clears throat> Stop eating whatever you want. Will you ever just let me retire? God, I'm so tired. Shut up, punch -a I guess. A pillow's work is never done. You knew what this was when you signed up for the gig. In my last What I Eat in a Day, somebody told me not to ever say brekkie, so I'm going to say it again. For what? Somebody told you not to say brekkie? What kind of roustabout? What sort of two-bit, low-rent vagabond? For brekkie, I had a potato bowl with a bunch of vegetables. Potato bowl with a bunch of vegetables, okay. I don't see any meat or protein source in there, miss. And then I wanted some toast. 
So I had that. You wanted some toast, so you had that. Okay. For lunch, I had some plantain chips, and I was craving a tuna sandwich, but... You had plantain chips for lunch? Plantain chips, and I was craving a tuna sandwich, but I'm vegetarian, so I made this chickpea salad sandwich instead. Okay, and how did that substitution go? Was craving tuna, so I ate some chickpeas. You know, you know how they taste, like, pretty darn close, um, I guess. I was craving meat, so I ate some stupid chickpeas, you know. It hit the spot. According to Google, chickpeas have 2.4 grams of protein per tablespoon, so that's not bad. A little bit of a jump scare, but it was very good. And when my boyfriend got off work, we got some iced lattes, and I was trying to get a clip of ours together, but as you can see, he- You guys were getting a little too frisky with those drink clankings together, okay? I just want to see one clank. And then you separate, all right? Let's keep it clean. This is a family channel. And then me and my boyfriend went and got some lattes. What are you doing? Just clank the drink to my drink. Why are you trying to be all cute? This is annoying. God, playing games, dude. Can we just clank the stupid drink together? Thank you. Playing these weird little games, dude. God, not in public, dude. Damn, you always go too far. God. <laughs> <laughs> Her boyfriend just a total buzzkill. Can't do anything. Like, God, why are you always trying to high five me, dude? Oh, God. Are you dating Napoleon Dynamite? He made me work for it. He did make you work. Oh, he was the one playing the games with the freaking drink clanking. I thought that was you messing around. Your boyfriend's the one with the shenanigans. Okay. All right. You're trying to drive and he's doing that. Like, <laughs> you end up veering off the road. <laughs> Oh, 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 almost crashed into somebody back there. Maybe I should pay attention to the road, huh? <laughs> this is no time to be screwing around with your drinks, dude. God. You know you ran a couple people over back there, right? I wasn't going to say anything because you were really into the moment, the, the cheers and everything. I didn't want to ruin it, so. But yeah, there's a couple people back there. We should probably stop. We probably should go back and turn ourselves in. Well, you. You did this, so you should turn yourself in. <laughs> so fun driving with coffee. <laughs> ah! <laughs> friends don't let friends drink and drive lattes they can be very dangerous most other things are fine not lattes just kidding for dinner i made mushroom ravioli with plant butter mushroom ravioli with plant butter so you mean hydrogenated vegetable oil which is also known as margarine if you take a liquid such as vegetable oil and you pump hydrogen gas through it, you get hydrogenated vegetable oil, also known as margarine. The more you know. Doesn't that sound delicious? A little bit of hydrogen pumped through your vegetable oil? Mwah, mama mia. Just like a mama used to make. Not sure why she told us that there was plant butter in that, like, most things contain some sort of oil or butter. Why are they always giving some sort of meat name to all these vegetable things? Plant butter? What? What if the reverse were true? Instead of ribs, we call them meat-based asparagus tips, right? They're shaped like asparagus tips, but they're just meat-based, okay? <laughs> That's what they do with all this vegetable stuff, like, plant-based? Burger meat. It's not at all burger meat. It's just shaped kind of like a burger patty. Why? Introducing meat-based rice. It's just chipped beef. We just get some beef. It's, it's just it's just ground beef. We're just rebranding ground beef as meat-based rice. <laughs> Peas and Parmesan. It was very tasty. Vegetable Parmesan. And then for dessert, I made these monster cookies because they're peanut buttery and I really like them. And apparently so does my cat. Peanut buttery cookies for dessert. Oh, look at that kitty. Oh my goodness, look at the look on his face. Or her face, whatever the heck, I don't know. As a man, anytime I see an animal, I assume it's also male. And I know that women do the same thing, because they'll be like, oh, look at your dog, she's so cute. That's everything I ate, bye. All right, bye. Let's take a look at this and add it up. Okay, I need to add the cookies first. She mentioned there was peanut butter in those, but there was also like M&Ms or something it looked like. All right, so you started the day off with a potato bowl and some toast. You had some carbs with your carbs. Too many carbs, not enough protein. Then later on for lunch, you had some plantain chips and a chickpea sandwich. Chickpeas are not too bad as far as a vegetable protein source. 
After that, you and your boyfriend started clanking lattes together in the car like a couple of crazy people and almost went right off the road. Um, you endangered everyone around you, I'm scared. And then for dinner, you had some vegetable ravioli with plant butter, or as we used to call it, margarine. Finally, you wrapped the day up with some cookies with peanut butter. Your cat had one and then looked like it was having some sort of seizure. All right, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a... Two out of ten. There were not enough good protein sources in that day, and I did count the chickpea as a protein source. Next, what I eat in a day as a fat person who doesn't want to lose weight and eats about 10,000 calories a day. 10,000 calories? Ah! That's a lot of calories, I would say. Okay, now I'm ready. I wasn't ready at first until you did that little move. Now I'm ready. Mac and cheese. The cornerstone of any healthy meal. Just like Ben Franklin used to make. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Watermelon. Out of a heart-shaped bowl. Where do you guys keep finding all of these heart-shaped bowls? What the hell? Are they just hiding these from me at the store? They don't want me to have this level of greatness? Is that what it is? Okay, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. What is that? Acai? Alright, so you have an acai bowl with bananas, peanut butter, blueberries, and granola. Acai. Acai. Okay, according to Google, that's pronounced acai. Are you driving and eating acai bowls at the same time, dude? What's with everybody driving and eating today? Don't drink and drive? Don't eat acai bowls while driving either. That could be very distracting. You're like trying to pick around a blueberry or something. Oh, next thing you know, you're crashing right through grandma. And then what the hell is this? Two candy sushi? What is that? Marshmallows wrapped in friggin' Airheads candy? You know those Airheads candies that are like a strip? All right, now tater tots? Oh my goodness. For those that are not from the US and don't know what the heck a tater tot is, um, basically whatever little potato bits are left over from the potato cutting and manufacturing process, they scoop them all together and like probably put a light breading on it and then they deep fry it and they sell it to people because it would have gone to waste otherwise, I guess. I don't know what you guys do with it. In other countries, you probably use it in some sort of industrial application, like as maybe some sort of sound deafening panels or something is what you use your leftover potatoes for. But here in the United States, we will not let profit go to waste, okay? We're eating them. <laughs> no, but I've heard people in other countries be like, what's that, a tater tot? Like, they don't have that. Only in America, baby. I'm getting all patriotic just thinking about it. Like two of these cream wafers. Oh, I thought you were going to say like two of this can of chocolate. I thought you had yourself there a can of chocolate syrup and you were going to drink two of them. Okay, good thing that you're not. You had two of those cream wafers. All right, let's take a look at that and add it up. So you started the day off with some mac and cheese. If that's any indicator of how the day's gonna be, you know it's not gonna be a great one. After that, you had some watermelon. Then later on, you had some acai bowl with blueberries, bananas, peanut butter, and granola. I suppose we can count the peanut butter as some sort of protein source, albeit not a very good one. Then later on, you had some candy sushi which was marshmallows wrapped in airheads or one of those other flat ribbon type of candies. And then you had some tater tots and you wrapped the day up with two chocolate cream wafers. All right, I've come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a one out of 10. 
The peanut butter was your only source of protein that entire day, and it's not a very good one. Low scores all around today, very unfortunate. Perhaps we'll dive into some other diets soon, like people trying to lose weight or eat healthy or all these other type of things. Please click like. One like equals one mustache coming. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.